Hi guys, I'm happy with me today a ThinkPad 13 and a ThinkPad 13. <clears throat> now, the difference between, the, between these two that I have is the one on the left right here is a Windows machine, while the one on the right is a Chromebook. So I just wanted to cover some of the uh, differences we have between these two outside of the OS, of course, which I, I won't discuss much, but uh, we'll just be talking about physical differences. So, um, from up above, you can see that um, the keyboards are similar, however, because this one is a Windows laptop, it has the pointing stick, while this is a Chromebook, it does not, and that's because Google does not allow for pointing sticks on Chromebooks, it's just part of their spec, so they can't have it. Also, on the Windows version, you get the dedicated mouse buttons here, you do not get them over here on the Chromebook version. The power button on the Windows version is right at the top here. And over on the Chromebook, it's the top right-hand key. Um, that's just standard on a Chromebook. And again, that's a Google spec. Um, now, uh, you'll notice that the chassis and like the design is exactly the same. So you're going to get the same like uh, rigidity of the, of the screen here. The hinges are gray. They're metallic, very rigid. They're going to hold up. Um, of course, another difference you'll see is that on the Windows machine, you have your function keys, while on the Chromebook, you just kind of have your multimedia keys. You don't have those same function keys. Um, of course, using the OS, you can get, play around and configure how those buttons respond based on, um, based on your preferences, but um, out of the box, they're going to behave differently. So let's kind of take a tour of the ports now. Um, and just compare those. So let's close down the laptops. And again, you'll see another slight difference here is on the Chromebook version. You have like this little Chrome insignia, as every Chromebook has. Windows, nothing. It's just solid black oh, with the ThinkPad logo, of course. I'm putting the Windows laptop on on the top of the Chromebook here, and we'll just take a quick look at the ports and how they differ on each of these. So on the left side here. Um, we have a different selection of ports, so again, Windows is on top. So on top here we have, um, this is the power jack right here. Then we have right here is an HDMI port, and then a USB 3.0 port. On the Chromebook, we have a smart card reader, and we have a USB 3.0 port. And we'll rotate around to the front, no difference there. We'll rotate around to the right side, see a few more differences. Um, so we'll start with the Windows laptop again. Um, so here we have a USB-C. This is uh, HDMI and then two USB 3.0 ports here. You know what? I actually made a mistake over from this side. This is uh, this is this is not a HDMI port. This is actually um, a smart card reader right here. Let's rotate it back around. Um, so. Um, here we are again on the Windows HDMI to USB 3.0 port. So we have one USB-C. Now on the Chromebook we have two USB-C ports right here. And we have another USB 3.0 port right there, down there. And a headphone jack and a headphone jack. So you don't get an SD card reader on the Chromebook, which is kind of a bummer. But you get two USB-C ports, which is nice. Um, you can charge off the USB-C port on the Windows version and the Chromebook version. In fact, on the Chromebook version, it's your only option. It's the power via USB-C. So when you're powering with this USB-C, you can actually use this the other one for um, output to a monitor or you know other types of storage or whatever else you want to um, have for USB-C connectivity. So um, as far as components, um, the uh, ThinkPad 13 comes with an Intel Core i3 or i5 um, in both flavors of the OS. Um, you get more storage on the Windows version, it goes up to 256 gigabytes of storage, whereas the Chromebook I think tops out at around 16 gigabyte, and then you just store everything else in the cloud. As far as like um, boot up performance, well the Chromebook is much faster to boot up simply, simply because it's a lighter OS. You just have essentially Chrome browser on there, and on the Windows version it is slower to boot up. Um, taking about, for me, around 20 to 30 seconds, whereas a Chromebook takes about 3 seconds. I actually prefer using the Chromebook because it's faster and um, all I really need is a browser, but I do miss having the uh, pointing stick and the mouse, uh, extra mouse buttons you get on the Windows version.
guess I right here. Um, so, but uh, price-wise, the US, uh, excuse me, the Chromebook is also cheaper. You can get it for around two, two fifty, whereas the ThinkPad 13 um, Windows version is around six hundred dollars. So it's almost twice as much. Um, you're getting the same build and quality with each, as far as like the the chassis and uh, the rigidity of it. So, you know, I think if it's for a kid, I would say go for the Chromebook because it's going to stand the test of time and it's simple enough that they can use it. If you need a more fully fledged laptop, then the Windows ThinkPad 13 is the one to get. Thanks for watching.